hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um first i want to say happy friday i hope everybody is having a wonderful day please stay safe and all that good stuff please stay aware of your surroundings and y'all watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life okay y'all um i wanted to start off with this story right here that happened um the weekend y'all actually last weekend um it's so important that people listen to stories like this so that when they get, you know, in certain particular, you know, um, situations like this, you know, they think about this story right here. So I had to start off with this. There's so much going on today, but I wanted to start off with this because this could have happened to anybody. Okay, y'all. So I want y'all to listen to this news report first and then we'll talk about it. Okay, y'all. You know, an argument over a parking spot ended with gunfire over the weekend in Brooklyn. A 26-year-old woman and her boyfriend were shot near the parking lot of a Home Depot on Saturday. The woman remains in critical condition. Her boyfriend also still in the hospital, but he was well enough to talk to Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore. She joins us now from Bed-Stuy with the very latest. Crystal. Good afternoon, Liz and Joe. Well, surveillance cameras captured the shooting. Now, in this video, you see the gunman standing in the corner here. Uh, this is Willoughby and Sanford Street. He's standing on the corner, just waiting for families to walk by. And then he crosses the street and opens fire on the couple parked just across the street outside the Home Depot. He's just full of life. He's just a good person. Speaking from his hospital bed with gunshot wounds to his back and leg. But it's to be happening is over something so minuscule, it's just like, it's overwhelming. Cordell McDuffie recounts the moment he and his girlfriend Imani Sharpless were gunned down outside this Home Depot in Brooklyn Saturday afternoon. McDuffie's white Hyundai Sonata pierced with bullet holes over what he describes as a parking dispute inside the shopping center. He was trying to go into a parking space, but he pulled up a little bit forward toward the entry. I pulled up behind the guy, but he had to back up, and I was impeding on him backing up. I pretty much didn't realize it. I blew my horn for a second, then we, we exchanged words. Both drivers got out the car. McDuffie said he tried to quickly defuse the situation before it escalated. Now, I told him it's a misunderstanding. He thought I was yelling. I wasn't yelling. My phone, my, my music was on. McDuffie says both he and the suspect appeared to move on from the issue, continuing with their business inside the store. The couple left around 12.15 and pulled over on Willoughby Avenue. And as I'm waiting, uh, I, I just feel something hit me. The gunman opens fire before running away. An injured McDuffie manages to drive away to safety, headed down the wrong direction on Nostrand Avenue. The suspect shot Sharpless in the head. She's still in critical condition right now. They trying to do what they can. While police search for the gunman, McDuffie is holding on to hope. I need everybody's prayers. I need her to be okay. You an argument. Okay, y'all. Um this is sad on so many levels, y'all. On so many levels. Twenty six year old model and singer. Okay, y'all. Um, she got hit up in a car with her boyfriend. Now the way that her 36-year-old boyfriend explains everything is that, you know, um, the guy or whoever it was pulled into a park, but they pulled up a little bit farther, and he pulled in right behind him, but the guy went to back up. And I guess he wouldn't move his car or whatever, whatever, whatever. And he had his music on, and they were exchanging words, okay? Now, both guys got out of the car. Her boyfriend gets out of the car. This is right outside of Home Depot. Her boyfriend gets out of the car. And whoever the guy was gets out of the car. Okay, y'all? And they have a couple of words. Now, we're only hearing one side of the story. So, we, we have to still take that in consideration. Okay, y'all? 
We're only hearing one side of the story. Now, he claims that, you know, him and the guy talked. He let the guy know his music was loud. He was not even trying to, you know, get loud with him or whatever, whatever. whatever. I, don't, I don't see how you're trying to talk to somebody with your music blasting in the first place. Okay, y'all? Um, it's always two sides to every story, but it still shouldn't have never escalated to this. Over a parking spot... And I had to jump on here and say something, y'all, because it's Friday. And y'all know Friday people be feeling feeling they self, okay? People be drive the worst on the weekends and the Fridays and all of this stuff. People happy to get off work. People are, you know, sipping. People be happy to be out of school the weekend. It's a lot be going on on Fridays, okay, y'all? So I just want y'all to know, you know, to be careful, okay? Since this video was posted, she has passed away. She was hit in the head, Okay. Now, he claims that, you know, they squashed everything and both of them went into the store. He went on his way, the guy, and he went, they went on theirs. Now, they gets back in that car and it pulls off and gets to a corner of a street and this guy is waiting for him, okay? He, he comes up to the car and he just lights the car up, hits her in the head, and hits him in, the I think, the leg and the back, okay, y'all? Now, he made it. He made it. But his girlfriend didn't. The singer and aspiring model, she's gone now, y'all. Over a parking spot. I say this all the time. People is out here um, on the ledge, okay, y'all? You have to be careful when you're dealing with the public, period, okay? People, I have heard so many stories of, you know, just road rage. People, if somebody cuts somebody off. Okay, y'all? And you can cut somebody off by accident, to be honest with you. You can accidentally... It has happened to me. I have cut somebody off by accident, and then, you know, they turn around like they're about to get hard and this and that. But it, it don't take nothing but to apologize if you're in the wrong. Okay? Because I, I, I was in a situation where it was people in the car. And they were really young teenagers and looking like they was partying. I did not even see them. Okay, y'all? Until it happened. And then when I, you know, they pull Babians, you know, you know how you can kind of read people's lips a little bit or something, something like that, because our wonders wasn't even up, but I did throw my hand up and was like, you know, I'm sorry, you know, my bad, you know what I'm saying? Because I did not see them. And it is a, a bad thing to cut people off. It really is. But if sometimes it happens, okay, sometimes you could cut somebody off, you know, just trying to avoid something else. Okay. And it can happen. It doesn't take all of this, you know, um, just getting loud and all of this obnoxious stuff. Okay, y'all, you know, um, this is sad on so many levels that she just lost her life over this parking spot, y'all. This is what she lost her life over. And so, and, and like I told you, this has happened to me, you know, just driving. And soon as I said, you know, my bad, you know, I didn't even see y'all or whatever. And as I'm letting my window down to talk. Um, it calmed the whole situation down. They smiled and everybody kept going. But I could tell in their faces there was about to be some stuff. Okay, y'all? But I, I, I knew I was in the wrong, but I, I wasn't trying to cut them off. You know, I was trying to get over. But little things like this happens. And I'm going to tell y'all this. This is not worth not making it back home to your loved ones over a parking spot or cutting somebody off by accident or this and that. There are so many people out here on these streets right here that's just waiting for anybody to do something so that they can let loose some stuff that probably that happened with somebody else and they already peed off and they take it out on the next person, okay? This guy, like I said, her, her boyfriend, you know, it sounds good when he says, oh, this, they, he shot, they, they hit the, hit up the car because of this parking spot. It sounds good when you say you got out the car and you you told them that, you know, you apologize and this and that and that. But to be honest with y'all, this, this little park right here, to be honest, if this was a park and it was another park in front without this little, you know, thing in the middle, um... This little sidewalk in the middle of this part, then I would kind of believe what he's saying. But he says that the guy pulled in the park and pulled up some and he needed him to back out. And this thing is right here in the way. So something is up with this story. And I really would like to hear the other person's part of the story too. Okay. Um, if he pulled in somebody's spot and they were pulling in it or whatever, and he knew they was pulling in it and then he just went on in there anyway. 
Of course, that man going to be still mad. But is it worth somebody's life? But at the same time, I keep telling y'all, a lot of people, they out here in their time ticking time bumps, okay? You cannot, you know, play these type of games. And then, you know, him talking about his music was blasting the gap, all he was hollering and blah, blah, blah. Um, y'all, did this man just get his girlfriend taken out? Oh, just some stupidity, y'all. Ask yourself this question. This is why I say you have to drive for other people and you have to treat people the way you want to be treated. If somebody is pulling in a park, don't whip in the park and, and you know they're trying to get in there. Sometimes it takes people, other people, a longer time to get in the park than others, okay? Because some people can't drive as good as others. Some people are older. You know, it's be a lot going on out here, y'all. And I see this happen a lot. I see people trying to get in a park and then somebody, or they'll be waiting for a park and somebody else can get a clear cut to get jump in it. And they'll do that. They'll do that and they know somebody else is waiting. But was it worth his girlfriend's life? And will it teach him a lesson? Okay? See, this is what I keep telling y'all. You have when I say watch the company that y'all keep, that means everybody. Okay? You know, if you're running around with a ghetto fabulous boyfriend that like to run his mouth and talk stuff and this and that and that and this you might not want to be with somebody like that okay y'all somebody that escalates something somebody just you know a joke that'll go jump in somebody's parking spot and they trying to get in there you know just nitpicking not saying that this guy that took out this weapon and start you know firing on them was in the right i'm not saying that because you know People got some screws missing out here, okay, y'all? But I'm saying is, you know, when I say watch the company you keep, you have to watch who you will be around and do they like to start stuff? Do they got a big mouth, okay, y'all, when you get in certain situations? Because to be honest with you, this could have been anything. This could, it, it might not have even been this guy in this parking lot. It could have been somebody else that could have been looking at, you know, them funny. And he started running his mouth, okay? And you get your girlfriend caught up in some mess. But she took one to the head, y'all. Okay? To the head. Now, I don't know who was driving or not. I do believe it probably was him. He the one jumped out to talk to the guy and this and that and that and this. And he trying to make it look as if the guy act like everything was okay. Everything was cool. But was it really, y'all? Was it really? And like I told you, you're never going to know until they get the other guy sad of the story as well. But still and all, the other guy was in the wrong because it never has to escalate with nobody pulling out no weapons over a parking spot. But this is the world we're living in right now. If you are that mad, if you are that upset over that parking spot that this guy had you heated, then why didn't you put paws on them in the parking lot, okay? And let out the little, little energy that you had. Why did you have to go sneak around a corner somewhere knowing that they was going to pull out or pull up to this intersection and then you run out with a weapon and catch them off of guard? It's, people are so scary now that, you know, they quick to pull out weapons, Instead of just handle stuff as a man, if this if you was that upset. But like I told y'all, we don't know both sides of the story. And now this woman is gone. Okay? So, y'all, please be careful. Please be careful with picking who your, your, your mate is. Please be careful with picking who your friends are. Please be careful with picking family members that like to start stuff. That be out thinking they so hard all the time. Okay? I can whoop everybody. I'm this. I'm that. You know, just ready to just kick something off. And then the person that they would end up being the one that takes the, you know, the fall instead of them. The, he's still alive to talk about it. And she's gone now. Okay. And now they're looking for this guy. She has been in the hospital a whole week fighting for her life. And she just, she just passed away, y'all, over a parking spot. So y'all, please be careful. Please be careful, y'all. And if you got somebody loud mouth in your life, um, it's time to let it go. Unless you want to, you know, take what comes with that. And this is the type of stuff that comes with that. Okay, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. And may she rest in peace. And I'm sending my condolences to her family. Okay? And y'all, be careful. Be careful. Peace.